I love that song. Lord, I need you to help me. Amen. Each and every day, each and every morning, that ought to be part of our prayer, part of our reaching out to Lord. I, I need you to help me. I, I don't know what today is going to bring. I don't know what I'm going to have to deal with. And even though I might be feeling all right, I still need you to help me. Amen. Amen. Our God is such a wonderful God. And the good news is he'll do just that. Amen. Yes, he will. Amen. Good morning, St. Matthew. Wonderful to be here again this morning. Amen. We invite you to come and go along with us as we lift up, continue in our worship service, lifting up the name of the Lord. Amen. In case nobody has told you this morning, we love you. Amen. And God loves you best. Amen. Amen. So we're going to move up a little bit higher in our service. We're going to bring back our music ministry, and they will bless us with more songs, and then we will come back for a scripture and prayer, and then we will hear what God has prepared for us this morning. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Jesus, and we ought to do that every day. But, you know, I remember as a young boy growing up, there was something different about Sunday morning. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. I remember grandmother used to, the house just smelled different. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you yes. could hear that the only time she turned on the radio was on Sunday morning. Yes. And I remember you didn't have to take any time to wonder whether or not it was a, a blues station or not. Yeah. Amen. You knew. Amen. What was coming out of those speakers. Yeah. Amen. They were talking about the Lord. Yeah. Amen. It, it's just something about knowing who God is. Yeah. Amen. Our scripture this morning will come from the book of Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. A very familiar scripture. Amen. Yeah. Jesus is talking and teaching the multitude and he begins in verse 3 by saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and reading of his word. shouldn't get mine getting ugly for Christ. Amen. All right. Amen. Don't worry about what somebody else says or does. Yeah. You know who made yeah. you. You know who's brought you thus far. Yeah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are most grateful for your kindness. Yes, Lord. Even in our times of disobedience, yes. you have never forgotten us. Lord. You still remain faithful to who you are and because you are faithful because you love us so you won't let go of us. So when we fall, you pick us up. When we are hungry, you feed us. When we are thirsty, you give us a drink. Grateful, Father, are we who have come so far. May we never forget your kindness. In the day of our mourning, in the day of sickness and affliction, Master, we don't ever want to forget that we owe a debt that we can never repay. Yeah. And even on in our difficult times, Lord, we still can give you praise going on it because yeah. that's what you called us to do. Yeah. To serve and not just serve on sunshiny days, yeah. Yeah. but to serve on rainy days too. When we're sick and even some, sometimes we lose our way heavily we got to give you the praise, glory, and honor, so let us not get caught up in self, but always get caught up in you. And I pray, Heavenly Father, for understanding of your word and that it would filter out this body of believers at this church. That we may become stronger, and having done so, Lord, we set an example for others that are looking upon us and see that we have hope. And because we have hope, we doing our best to live the way you would call us to live, that we have faith, hope, and trust in thee and nothing else. We have the times together that we fellowship and worship with you, Father, and I pray now that we all come with intent to lift up your holy name each and every Sunday, but even more so during the week. 
but we need you not just on today, but we need yeah. you Monday through Saturday as well. And we pray, Heavenly Father, God, you call. Open our hearts to you, Lord, that may receive what you have. Yes, Lord. To give us that we may become more like you. And that the dominion of sin would gradually cre decrease in our life. That, Heavenly Father, we may become sanctified, set apart for your service. Thank you, Lord. Use us, Lord, but clean us up, for Lord, we're filthy right now. And we need you to wash us with your word. May you clean us up and fix us, Lord, so we know that the only way we can make it is with you. Help us to look no other door, to knock on no other door, to go in no other door, but the door you prescribe for us the other day. Now, Lord, we ask you, bless the man of God who will step forth and give us a word from you. We may be blessed in Heavenly Father. Help us to be mindful that we're always servants, not masters. These and all blessed we pray in Christ's name. Sanctified in my Jesus name. You know I'm sanctified in my Jesus name.
know I'm Holy Ghost filled in my Jesus name. You know I'm Holy Ghost filled in my Jesus name. In my Jesus name, you know I'm water baptized. In my Jesus name. Jesus on my mind, I found a new life, I've got Jesus on my mind, I found a new life. I know I might be acting a little funny, but if anybody asks you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. what's the matter with me? <laughs> I found a new life, and everything that goes along with that in Jesus Christ. What a mighty God we serve. He can and will save anybody who is willing. I'm glad about that. I don't know about you. Amen. Maybe it's a little different from you, but I remember before Jesus, I thought I was all right. But then I found out I was in a world of trouble. Amen. I was going to church, but I wasn't church. I was at church, but I wasn't church. I was I was president of the choir, but I wasn't saved. I found, I found a new life. <laughs> Holy Ghost filled. <laughs> what a baptize. I found a new life. God bless you. I'm, I'm I'm excited, Reverend Carter, about the opportunity to stand in this place again. Uh, there was a time in my youth when I don't think I appreciated it as much as I do now. Amen. You know, when you're young, you're strong. Amen. You're fast. You, your mind moves in a hurry. But when you get a little older, begin to think a little bit differently and be much more grateful for the help God gives us in every situation, especially standing in this place. Amen. We can't do this on our own. It's good to see you, Pastor Cooper. 
my brother and my sister and my niece. It's good to see y'all in the house. My sister Yvonne, my songbird, extraordinaire. Amen. 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 I can't sing like they sing, but I can shout about it. (laughs) Amen. God is good, and he's worthy of all praise. Amen. Now, I don't want to bore you, and I've got, I've got a, a message that, that, that doesn't encompass a lot of verses. It's in Philippians chapter 4. <laughs> Philippians chapter 4, the letter that the Apostle Paul writes to the church at Philippi. Amen. 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 Father in heaven, we come now in the name of Jesus, opening our hearts, our minds, our very beings unto you. We need your word. We can't make it except that we hear from you. Teach us those things needful that we might be better servants and that we might be better Christian people in times like these. Give us something that will hold us till we meet again. Keep us all week long and then keep our minds stayed on you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable unto thee. O Lord, thou who art my strength and my redeemer. Amen. 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 Philippians chapter 4, beginning at verse 4, reads on this wise. And I know time is moving because I did not leave the study until I found a Bible with big letters. I left the expensive one on the table, and I got the one I could see. (laughs) Verse 4 begins, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Amen. Let your gentleness be known to all men. Be a lover of people and a lover of God. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. One more verse. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. I want to talk today about living with holy carelessness. Yeah, he says, he says in this word, be careful for nothing. Don't be afraid to be who I've called and made you to be. Though it may look like you are in a perilous situation, don't be afraid. Let People know who Jesus is and that he is a rewarder, the Bible says, of those who diligently seek after him. Yes. Can't just be here. We've got to come seek him. Yes. Reverend Carter, we can't just come to meet and greet each other. We've got to come and come into his presence yes. and let him know how glad we are yes. that he's our Lord yes. and our Savior. Amen. 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 Sometimes you have to be a little careless. What do you mean? You have to care less what happens to you than you do what happens to your neighbor. 
Sometimes you have to be just a little bit careless. All right. Amen. When, when others are up speaking, open your mouth. Right. Clap your hands. Amen. Give God glory. Yes. He didn't just call one. Yes. He called all preachers yes. and teachers yes. to work. Yes, and if you can shout on one, yes, you can shout on the other. Yes, it, it, it's God good, so you got to be a little bit careless. Amen. You can't care what folk think when you holler hallelujah. Amen. They don't know like you know yes, sir. Yes, sir. what it is that the Lord has done for you this past week. Yes, so if a hallelujah shows up in the service, that means God's been at work yes, all week long. Yes. How you know? Because I'm looking at your face. Yes. I saw you walk in. Yes. I saw you greet one another yes. with a smile on your face. God really is good. Carelessness. He says, be careful in this business for nothing. <laughs> Don't think it's you. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Hmm. Trust God. The Bible says, put not your trust in men. Amen. Amen. But put your trust in God. Amen. He fails not. He changes not. Yes. So when, it, when in the beginning of this chapter, at verse 1, it said, therefore. He just got through telling them about Jesus mm -hmm. and, and how he'll be able to change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his own glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Don't be scared. Yeah. Stand up and be counted. Yeah. Let the world know whose side you're on. Yeah. Don't be afraid to call the name Jesus publicly. Yeah. Amen. I know it's a little different now than what it used to be. Yeah. People say church is on the way out. I beg to differ. Amen. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So you can afford, my brothers and sisters, to care less what the world says, to, to care less what the world thinks about you. Amen. I got my shout. You better get yours. Because when mine comes, I'm not going to be scared to let it out. God has been absolutely, without a doubt, too good in my life for me to be ashamed to praise his holy name. My name is in the book. No, 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 no. That's miraculous, Brother Bill Carter, because my name, I know, is in the book. I was at church and wasn't church, but today... I'm at church and I am church because Christ left heaven, hung on a cross for my sin, died, was buried on the third, on the, 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 the third day he died, but on, the, on Sunday morning. Yes, sir. He got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. Yeah. Amen. And because he lives. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. I, I feel some country church. I can face yeah. tomorrow because he lives all Fear is gone because I know who holds the future. And since I know who he is, Pastor Cooper, my life is worth the living because he lives. What a mighty God we serve. So he says, he says to us, uh, get these two sisters, Yadias and Satinki together. They are, they are at odds with each other. The church is good at bringing, speaking peace yeah. in the midst of storms uh -huh. because Jesus taught us just how to do it. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He says, y'all need to get these two sisters on the same page. They've been too good yeah. at working in the body of Christ yeah. for them to be sitting at home with their mouths stuck out yeah. because they didn't get their way on some issue. Yeah. Go get them. 
If they've been working well in the church and they stop working, go find out what's wrong. And when they're wrong, tell them they're wrong. Tell them, but we love you. Come on here, let's go to church. You you got too much to thank God for to be sitting up at home with your mouth stuck out because you and your sister had a disagreement. You sit on that side, let us sit on this side. God will get you back together again. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I'm sorry, I ain't standing at home because you got on my nerves. Close my eyes and walk up here and feel my way to this pulpit. Open my eyes and don't see nothing but the word. Don't say nothing but the word. But I'm not staying at home. God's been too good to me. Kept me when I was in the club and in the choir stand. Band leader at Kashim. Choir director at church. Wasn't nothing churchy about me. But one day, I met a man named Jesus. And since that day, my life has not been the same. All we have. We have ups. We have downs. We have good days. We have bad days. Amen. Some days we do the right thing. Some days we do the wrong thing. But God said in his word, whatever you need, ask in my name. And the Father will give it unto you. Sometimes we just need forgiving. We can't worship because we're so full of guilt. Isn't that right? Don't nobody know what you did, but you you and God. And you can't even worship because you're guilty. Tell God about it. Ask him to forgive you for it. Get on in the choir and sing. Get on up here and pray. Come on up here and preach. Do whatever it is that God has told you to do. Because he said if you ask, if you're faithful to ask, he is just to forgive. I got time to sit around with my head down. I can't go back and change yesterday. I got to get straight with him today. I may have to come back next week. But as often as I need to come to God, I'm willing to come. Because he's the only one who can truly forgive and forget. He said he put put my sin behind his back. Because he chose not to look at it again. Is God good? Amen. So, so he says this. He says, he says, therefore, which concludes that the recipients are going to stand fast. They're going to persevere, and, and, and they're going to stay in their relationship with Christ, and they're not, going to, they're not going to allow the Judaizers or the perfectionists or the hedonists to disrupt their Christian walk. Yeah. I'm yeah. walking on yeah. by faith. Yeah. Yeah. may have to get a whipping every now and then. But he said, I'm dealing with you. If I have to chastise you, it's yeah. because yeah. I'm dealing with you as sons. Yeah. And if I don't ever correct you, then you're all bastards. Yeah. Now, I ain't cussing. That's in the Bible. That's what the word says. And a bastard is a child with no father. I don't think there's anybody in here that don't have a father. Now, most, most of you my age, you're earthly fathers are gone, but our heavenly father is still in his place. And he watches over his children. What a mighty God. So he says, he says, look, stand fast. Then he says, help them to be of the same mind. Then he says, you who are true yoke fellows. (laughs) He says, I need you to help these women. I need you to help these women uh, so they can get back together and be reconciled one to another. See, we don't leave a fracture wide open in the body of Christ. Because if your leg is broke, you walk crooked. If your arm is broke, you can't handle things like you ought to be able to handle things. If your heart is broken, you can't stand 
much turbulence. Yeah. But when God is on your side, yeah. and when your brothers and sisters in Christ see your pain yeah. and come to see about you, yeah. and not with criticism, yeah. but with healing prayer and reconciliation. Yeah. 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 God is really good. He said, now, true your fellas, he says, uh, uh, th this is what I need you to understand, that these sisters in all believers' lives and names are recorded in a book called the Book of Life. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And they're in the book, so don't you let the devil beat them up. Right. Sometimes you got to stand up for somebody other than yourself. Yeah. The devil wants to pick at everybody here, but he wants to do it in secret. Because he knows if the church gets together, it puts evil to flight. Right. Is God good? Yes. He said in his word, I, upon this rock, Jesus said, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Stay together, babies. Put a slang on that arm. Let's be whole again. Amen. Wipe those tears out of your eyes. Amen. Let's be whole again. Amen. Let's have peace and power again. Amen. Don't let an open wound fester. Yes, Thank you. It'll fester. Yeah. Yeah. If that's all you think about, yeah. you keep looking at it. Pretty soon it's going to start running. Yeah. It will fester because it will get infected. We got too many infected hearts in the body of Christ. And we got too many people walking around with the word of God, which is healing, that won't share the cure. We got to stay together, y'all. Amen. So he, he talks about these names and he says, Rejoice in verse 4, rejoice in the Lord. And then he turns around and says, And again I say, Rejoice. He said, rejoice. Now turn around and do it again. Yeah. Again, I rejoice. Have joy. Yeah. And then rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. When I hear the word of God preached, I want to do it again. When, yeah. I, when I hear the choir singing in the spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit, I want to do it again. When I, when I come in here on Sunday morning and see your smiling faces, I can't wait till next week because I can't wait to do it again. I, I, I'm stronger because I'm in the company of the saints. I'm stronger. I'm better because I'm around people who love me enough to pray for me. Amen. Who love me enough to find out I'm hungry and put some food on my table. I, 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 I want to do it again. I, I want to hear the brothers sing again. We, we might not sing like the mass choir, but we're singing. Yeah. Somebody had, Grandpa used to say, the gumption yeah. to climb the stairs and get in the choir stand yeah. <laughs> and give God glory yeah. and give him praise. Yeah. God is a good God. Amen. We don't all do things the same way. But one thing we do alike, and that's love. Yeah. <laughs> love, the Bible says, is the greatest of those three things, faith, hope, and love. It said these three abide, but love is the greatest of these. <laughs> Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Uh, yeah, the Lord is at hand. Tell somebody Jesus is coming back. Yeah. You see them straying from the true path. And when you yeah. see them acting like they don't know who Jesus is, when they're talking about other folks but can't keep their own mouth closed. Yeah. Somebody needs the Lord's hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, don't, don't only pray for the victim, pray for the one who is causing the pain. Yeah. Because we're all a part of this body. Yeah. Amen. Like it or not, we're up in here together. Amen. And I don't know about you, I don't plan on going empty where. Yeah. Yeah. Not on my mind. Too much power in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Too much love in here. Amen. Too much forgiveness in here. Yeah. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Too much, 
too much blessing in here. I, I, I don't want to run away from my blessing because I think I'm better than somebody else. Be careful for nothing. I want you to be living with holy carelessness. Don't be just careless. But when you know what you know and you know what God has said, walk by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Sometimes we have to shut our eyes and look away from what we see and ask God to do what only he can do. And that's give us peace right in the midst of our storm. He's done it before and he will do it again. You need to learn how to live with holy carelessness. He said, he said in his word, be careful for nothing. Amen. Now, don't be afraid to do anything I told you to do. Amen. Because if I'm with you, I'll take care of you. Yeah. I'll never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. Uh, holy carelessness, yeah. the peace of God. He said, he said, when you come to God, you ought to come to him like you know who you're talking to. Yeah. When he said, don't worry about anything, he's saying, I'm right here, right now. Yeah. You don't have to go anywhere and look for me. You don't have to get in the car to find me. You don't have to get on a plane to come where I am. I dare you to lift up your hands, let your head down, and call my name. I'm right here. And your only reason you don't have what you need is because you won't bow your head, lift your hands, and call my name. You have not because you ask not. Amen. I used to be somewhat hard to deal with because I was an angry child. I was. But I had to get over that in order for God to do what he wanted to do in my life. There's nothing anybody's done to you yesterday that they can go back and change today. Check on my father, and there was some folk in this church who always checking to see, do you need to go to California to check on your dad? See, that's what that's what the body does. Yeah. The body checks on the body, and the body takes care of the body. Amen. Yeah. Amen. One Sunday I came in this church and went in my office and found a package on my desk. It was travel plans, an airplane ticket. Come on, somebody. I didn't ask, but God said, I will supply all your need according to my riches in glory. But he said, whatever it is you want to deal with in prayer, make sure you include thanksgiving. <laughs> Don't ask me for anything until you thank me for what I already did. Thank me for waking you up this morning. Thank me for watching over you. While you slept like dead men and dead women. Yeah, yeah. Give me some glory yeah. before you tell me your story. Yeah. Because the truth is, I already know what you need. Yeah. And the only reason you haven't got it is you haven't asked me. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. He says, he says, this is what happens. This is what happens when you come to me that way. Uh, free from anxiety. Not afraid. In any matter in life. Because fear is not something that ought to paralyze a Christian. Amen. 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 Come on, y'all. Am I right? Yes, so we come with thanksgiving. I know I know, I got some bills due, but I'm thanking you right now. I know. I, I, I know I got to go to the, to the doctor this week, and they, they're going to examine me again, and I got to find whatever they say is what I'm going to do. Yes. And whatever it costs is what I'm going to pay. I'm not worried about what it costs because you gave me everything I need up to this point. Yes, and if you can do that then, you can do it again yes, now. Yes, Is God good? Yes. You can do it again now. God just keeps on blessing. Amen. So he says, do it with thanksgiving. And when you approach me with reverence and thanksgiving, uh, there will be a tranquility that overtakes your life. Peace. Peace. Isn't God good? Yes, sir. Which passes all understanding. Yes, sir. No matter what's going on around you, 
you can have peace. <laughs> peace divinely bestowed in times when we're all worked up and anxious. It's so wonderful that it exceeds my ability to understand it. But I take it happily. God, you said peace. Thank you for peace. I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to have a peaceful night because you said peace. My God, is God good? So peace divinely bestowed in times of anxiety is so wonderful that we we really don't know what to do, but one thing we know we can do is give God the glory. Yeah. Our understanding is nowhere near as great as God's, and, and, and his ability is so much greater than ours to cope with and solve yeah. our problems yeah. until we ought to tell him everything. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Even the bad things. Yeah. He already knows. Yeah. <laughs> he said, when I forgive you, I put it in a place called what? Forgetfulness. Yeah. That's why you can be divinely <laughs> careless. Amen. Because God's got you and he's going to take yeah. care of you. No matter what it looks like, put it in God's hand. Amen. Amen. Shall keep means he's on God. <laughs> he's on God all the time. He never sleeps. And the Bible said he never sleeps or slumbers. He doesn't get tired. He's not weary. He doesn't get tired of blessing you. He knows your name. Amen. Not only does he know your name, he knows all of your issues. Amen. He knows all of the has that's left on my half ball red head. And he knows them by name. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, somebody. That's what the word said. He knows all that there is to know about me yeah. and about you. Yeah. And still, he loves us. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. Yeah. Finally, he said, yeah. when we get to verse 8, finally, he says this. He says, finally, brethren, whatsoever thing. This, this, these are the things you really need to pay attention to. Whatsoever things are true. Yeah. Whatsoever things are honest. Yeah. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Meditate yeah. on goodness. Yeah. 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 Meditate on the blessing yeah. Yeah. and not the stressing. Yeah. Yeah. Meditate on the healing and not the hurting. Meditate on the peace and, and, and not the players who are hating. Amen. Put your trust in God. Yes, sir. Think on All right. yeah. these yeah. things. I had an issue the other day with, 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 a, with, a, with a car dealer and warranty. And <laughs> finally, I said, come on, Melvin, let's go talk to you. Went in there and I said, listen. This is what I bought. This is what I want. But the part costs too much. Nope. This is what I bought. This is what you owe. Yeah. Well, we need to go to arbitration. Nope. If we go, we're going to court. Because I got proof that I didn't agree to it. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Look at the paper. <laughs> I know better than to sign my name to something. That's going to kill me. Because yeah. right. you're going to pay the arbitrator. Yeah. That's good. I want a fair hearing. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. He said, what are you saying? I said, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> That's law. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go cuss. I'm not going to get mad. I'm just going to. Do what I have to do. Yeah. As soon as they called back and told them what I said, miraculous things <laughs> began to take place. Yes, Can I get a witness? Yes, All of a sudden, the part that was supposed to cost $6,000 was free. Oh. 
Come on, y'all. You, when you've done all to stand, stand therefore, not fussing and cussing, having your loins girt about with peace. What a mighty God we serve. And God will take care of whatever the issue is. It wasn't really free because I bought it. But since I bought it, I wanted it. And I wasn't going to fuss and cuss with you about it. I'm church now. And, and, and if God is on your side, you don't have to fuss and raise sand with the world. Amen. Just know where you stand. Amen. Do it quietly and peacefully. Yes. And God showed up. Yes, sir. yes he did. Yes, sir. The young man called me and said, bring it to me Monday morning early. I said, really? He said, yeah. <laughs> bring it to me Monday morning early. I took it to him Monday morning early. He said, wait, 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 I, I need you to sign this. I said, what is that? He said, that's for the loan of car we're going to give you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when do I need to come back? We'll call you. It won't be long, maybe two or three days. God can fix it. Yes, 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 I didn't call them asking them what they threw. I didn't call them asking them, was it real? I just waited. Yeah. They that... Come on, y'all. Wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It, it, it wasn't free, but it didn't cost me $6,000. Yeah. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. And we're still friends up there. We're not enemies. Amen. They know what's in them. I know what's in them, and they know what's in me. His name is Jesus. Yes. Waymaker, heart fixer, mind regulator. Amen. He, he's the one who provides for all our needs. He's the one who speaks peace in our storm. He's the one who heals our sick bodies. He's an awesome God and he's worthy to be praised. You don't have to clown like you used to clown and still didn't get your way. When you give it to Jesus, he'll work it out. He will work it out. So, so you, can, you can be, uh, yeah. You can be, have a holy carelessness. Yeah. Don't go in there worried. Yeah. Amen. When you know what the Lord has already said. Yeah. 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 Whatever you ask the Father in my name, yeah. Yeah. that will I do. Yeah. God is good, y'all. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's good. Yeah. And I find something else wrong, I'm going to take it back to him. Nothing wrong with it. I have to go back to the shop. I have to get on my knees. Yeah. Tell God thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when I get in trouble and he gets me out, I have to go on my knees. Yeah. Tell God thank you. Yeah. Isn't that right? He's worthy of all praise. Yes, he never fails. Yes, he never fails to hear when we call his name. Paul said that they were concerned about his needs all along. He said, these women are fighting, but they helped me when I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to take care of this. You need to bring some peace yeah. in this relationship. Yeah. Right. You got good? Yeah. Don't gossip about it. Get about it. Fix it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Do it. He said, they, Paul said, they helped me along the way. They yeah. helped me in ministry. Yeah. I know they're saved. They just got a problem. You need to get to them yeah. and work it out. Yeah. Yeah. What a mighty God. I'm glad God didn't fire those women. Amen. 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 He's a God. See, to be obeyed means to do something, and I'm going to quit. You know what to be obeyed means? It means literally to discipline your own self. <laughs> discipline. You ought to get to a point where you discipline Yourself, so you don't go too far. Yeah. You don't get out of the image of Christ yeah. and back into the image of the flesh. Yeah. So you have to discipline yeah. yourself. Lord have mercy. Yeah. God is good. I have to do that often because I have a habit when I'm on the highway. 
me and the Lord know what it is. <laughs> but he, he, he hadn't let me have a wreck and get hurt. He hadn't, he hadn't let me break down on the highway hundreds of miles from home. He just keeps taking care. Because when I start the car, I say, here we go, Lord. Come on, somebody. And I imagine the Lord be saying, slow down, boy. We're going to make it. I'm right here. He's a mighty God. But even when I don't slow down, he keeps me safe. He's a merciful God. Anybody know that it's okay, you know, to, to understand where you need to stay, yeah. even if it's not popular. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. It, it, it's okay. and, and that it's, it's not a problem. God does not mind you standing where he told you to stand. Yeah. Amen. So you got to live with somewhat of an, of an attitude that I don't care what happens. Right. This is what God told me to do. Yeah. And he will take care of me. Yeah. He'll either take care of me on this side yeah. or he'll carry me over to the yeah. other side. Yeah. Either way, I win. Come on, y'all. Either way, I win. For me, to live is Christ, but for me to die is gain. Yeah. You think we shouting over here? Wait till we get over. Over there. What a mighty God we serve. Another thing he says in verse 11, I've learned to be content. Whatever state I find myself. Uh, contentment is a lesson learned in the classroom or in the bed overnight. And no matter where we are, he can get us what we need. Yeah. Is God good? Yeah. A amen. What a mighty God we serve. God sent his son. His son died on Calvary for my sin and your sin. He was buried in my grave. He took my trip to hell and dealt with the devil in my stead. Yeah, yeah. And early Sunday morning, he came out of that grave, got up yeah. with all power in heaven and earth in his holy hand. Yeah. Is God good? Yeah. And, and 40 days later, after he had proven he was who he said he was yeah. and that he was not in that grave anymore and that his disciples didn't steal him away by night, <laughs> he caught a cloud, yeah. Reverend M.H. Harris would say, and went on back to heaven. Yes. Yes, and now he's seated on the right hand yes, of the Father, pleading our case Thank you. Thank you. day after day. Thank you. Preacher, yes. I'm going to tell you what my doctor told me. God ain't going to just fix it. He's going to fix it all. Yes, yes. He's fix it all. <laughs> Won't he do it? Yes, he'll do it. He, he'll do it. He, uh, my doctor came and said, God is going to give you a total restoration. He told me that we're laying in my hospital bed. Four days later, they had to make me get in the wheelchair. Couldn't lift his hand, couldn't lift his foot, mouth twisted, couldn't speak plainly, but God. If you're going through something, trust God. Trust God. I, I know it's time for me to quit. It's time for the invitation. But this is a lesson we need to learn. Yes, you don't have to be rowdy to be strong. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God is an awesome God, and he's worthy to be praised. While the choir sings.
have our benedictory prayer. Let me thank you all for being present today. We have a visitor. Davion, is that the way? Amen. Davion Johnson. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming to share with us today. He is the guest of his mother. Amen. Andrea. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. And they say, the church is on the way out. I beg to differ. You got another song that says, can't nobody? <laughs> do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus says, no, no, on this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God bless you. I love you so much. Sis, you wearing that hat, girl. <laughs> See, we ought to be able to smile, shout, have a good time in the house of prayer. Amen? I heard some young folks say the other day, I don't do hats. Okay. God still got some sassy hat-wearing sisters. Come in the house looking like they came to give him glory and pray. Yes, I love, I love it. I love it. I do. Bless your heart. And not only is she wearing it, she what? She made it? Bless your heart. I think, I think that same sister Put a bag in my hand and told me Monday night taking home the sister cooker. And that was a hat in it too. What a mighty God. Love never fails. Let's stand for our May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus, the Christ of God, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide with us all now, hence, and forever. And all God's people sang together with one voice.